have somebody that doesn't know what they want for Christmas, have somebody that's impossible to buy for, well, look no further than this amazing list of barbecue items you can buy your uh, brother, significant other, spouse, who you name it for Christmas. All right, a couple assumptions with this. What The first one being, you already have a barbecue. If you know of a barbecue already, head over to Baby Back Maniac's video on the plethora of barbecues he has, and you hopefully you'll find something that'll fit your needs there. A second assumption, second assumption is that, I mean, there's many different things for barbecue. I want to categorize them as short cooks and long cooks. Short cooks are probably grilling steak, maybe do some, maybe uh, some chicken quarters, something like that. Long cook being, you know, the, the amazingness of those brisket, pulled pork, what have you. Number one on this list for top 10 things to get for Christmas is going to be good charcoal. The, the charcoal you can get at the store, some of it's good and a lot of it's bad. There's a couple different websites out there that I would definitely recommend, which I will leave a link in the description to that I want to send you to to go look at the right, right charcoal in your area. You can get and use that. You definitely don't want to be cooking on a long smoke and use bad, bad, bad lump charcoal, no briquettes. That's going to not, not going to give a good flavor on the meat. The second thing on the list is going to be good charcoal starter. You, got, you have the charcoal, make sure you have a good starter now to get that thing going. I, in my earlier days of barbecue, spent many a, many a long hours wondering why my barbecue hasn't started yet. Gee golly, because the barbecue didn't have, didn't have a good starter for the charcoal. No lighter fluid. You want to have three different things I recommend, or you can do all three. You're going to have the, uh, the woolly wood. That's going to be like this little, I'll put a link on the screen as well, a little uh, uh, waxy kind of fibrous material. Light that up, start about five minutes later, it's good to go. Or you also use a charcoal chimney. Now that contains a change the the charcoal in a vertical fashion. You put some paper under there, maybe with a little oil on that, it cooks up very nicely and gets the charcoal going really well as well, really good as well. The next sec last thing you can do is a propane torch. Now this is probably the funnest thing, funnest way to start charcoal, and it's also uh, maybe a little more cut, more a little more expensive, but it's also very fast too. So definitely don't um, don't skimp there. Or you can do all three like, like I choose to do. I'm not sure you guys knew this, but barbecues are hot. Which is why my third thing on the top, top 10 list is going to be to get barbecue gloves. I have some barbecue gloves and make sure you get a good kind. When you're moving charcoal around, moving hot objects that were just on the barbecue, you have gloves which protect your hands. Uh, some people have asbestos hands. I definitely don't. Um, Make sure you have gloves to protect your hands and because if you're grabbing something, it's too hot, you're going to probably end up dropping it on the ground and after a long day, that goes on the ground. That's a, that's a sad day for everybody. Prevent that. Get some barbecue gloves. For longer cooks, you want, I would definitely suggest to be able to know the temperature of your barbecue and the way to do that is with a barbecue internal, internal temperature for the internal chamber of the barbecue and also for the, the meat itself. That's why the next thing on the list is going to be a internal, uh, internal temp to monitor as it rises up from fridge temperature all the way up to maybe 205 degrees like a good brisket. As well as the chamber temperature, and you can do those on one device. I'll link a link, a li link in the description of some other devices I have personally used and, and I recommend. So click on that and you'll see what, what I mean. Next thing on the list is going to be uh, anything, even before you start doing some good delicious barbecue, you want to make sure the, the base is going to be clean. That's why I recommend a great cleaner. Now I have used a couple different great cleaners on my channel in the, in before. Uh, the great scrape actually is, is a pretty good tool, but anything you're going to use is going to be cleaning the disgusting gross material off, off the barbecue before you start. That's important. Make sure you get a good, uh, great cleaner. Start start clean and you'll probably be okay. I almost lost count. But this next thing on the list is going to be number six. And that is going to be a six pack of a cold beverage. Because you can really stress out about barbecue. And my, my suggestion with this one is going to be just to chill out. Don't stress. Uh, take Don't drink the whole six pack. But uh, just calm down and enjoy, enjoy the cook. Enjoy the smoke. Because... I spent too many times when I was first, start, first starting out, uh, stressing out, getting, over, getting getting too worked up, thinking it wouldn't be done in time, when you just got to slow down, realize what you're doing, who you're doing it for, and it's probably going to be okay. Next thing on the list, number seven, is going to be an instant read thermometer. 
Now you see the uh, the videos all the time about uh, the things with instant read, three second read, whatever, what have you. And well, that's I would say that's very important and also a very useful tool to have. So not only are you using it to get a quick temperature on the meat, which you're trying to temp probe, maybe doing chicken, you want that thing to be spot on. Definitely no no room for error with that one if it's too low temperature. And also, we also I also use it to actually to test the meat itself, maybe a brisket or some pork, see how tender that is. Uh, with it, Harry Sue, he says the word uh, peanut butter tender, and that's that's what you're using. That's why I use my probe for as well. I use my instant read thermometer. The next thing on the list I'm going to say is going to be a meat handler. Say you're done with the cook, you temp probes in, you take you use your hot glove, your barbecue glove to take the temperature probe out. Now we have to get the meat somewhere to rest or cool or to slice up and cut up. Now, how do you get that meat off the off of the actual grate? If you use a small spatula, it's going to be too perhaps it's too heavy. It will fall apart. That's she doing some pulled pork. I've had that happen before too. Falls apart everywhere. It's a mess. So you use whatever you need. Um, I have gotten a couple of times in the past a uh, couple of different bigger bigger spatulas, maybe a couple of different different tongs to use. Whatever you do, make sure you have something that can pick up the whole piece of meat in one section. Uh, not going to fall apart. Thank you everybody for watching this quick uh, top 10 video, top 10 things for Christmas. I think I only got up to eight, but uh, I'm not going to tell if, if you guys won't. Do you have anything you want to say? Make things you would uh, use for the barbecue? No. Anyway, <laughs> I want to say thank you for stopping by. Uh, keep barbecuing America and have a great day and Merry Christmas.